Oh my gosh, is that him? Is that him? Yes, it's me. It's the guy that always starts new businesses. I'm gonna take you out and we've been talking about so. Quick shout out to Vessi for sponsoring this video with their new courtside classic shoe, an instant classic. I mean, it looks super good. Right now, if you use my link below, you get a free pair of socks with every order, but more on that later. As you can see, I'm making some changes to the office. I've got this L desk set up and you're probably like, what's going on? What's this guy doing? I'm always thinking of new business ideas and one day that may be to my detriment. But you never know if an idea is good or worth your time unless you actually try it. So that's what I'm doing. Before working in the game industry, I learned how to edit videos, I learned how to use Photoshop and all that because of my video game YouTube channel where I played Call of Duty with the boys. Seriously, that's how I, that's how I learned everything. Well, like gaming and then being creative with it. And recently I came across kind of like an open market in the gaming space and I see a, I see a business. But starting something new is never as simple as you think because you can't just quit everything that you're doing and put all your time somewhere else. It's like the hardest part about starting something. You gotta sacrifice a lot of other stuff. The office is coming together. I just need a 3D printer. I don't need a 3D printer, but I want a 3D printer. And the last new office update, finally something to go in the corner. Look at that beautiful office chair. I mean, accent chair. I'm gonna soft launch this new YouTube channel with several videos made. I'll talk more about this, like the why behind this later on. Like, why can't you just be happy with one YouTube channel, bro? Relax, it ain't that simple. But we got some other stuff going on today because I got an email last night from people that want me to possibly come sell their house. I thought it was a scam or just spam at first because it was like a beautiful garden, like amazing. And they said they're also gonna be looking for something to buy. So these are the moments in real estate that matter. Do you get along with them? Will they like you? Or will they think you're just a funny clown? This fence, you'd never know what's in there. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't bring a gift, am I right? So, we got this, and this, and this. I'm such a good friend. How do I do it? Guys, how do I do it? Summer's ending, okay? But uh, we had our first rainy day today. I'm not built for the cold, I'm just not. I've been waiting for this package for about a week before this weather gets here. And uh, take a look, it just got here. If you don't know about Vessi, I would be surprised. They're kind of like a Vancouver staple at this point. They make waterproof shoes that look and feel like normal, trendy shoes. Like they're cool shoes. They also do clothing and accessories like this backpack we just got, waterproof. Definitely our new go-to hiking, camping backpack. But my personal favorite and their newest style, the Quartzide Classics, I showed you these earlier. These are probably gonna be my new like everyday shoe. And we also got the Stormburst Low Tops. These look so good as well. And Casey and I actually got matching pairs of both these and the courtside classics because she say she says we don't match enough so i've finally given in and now we're matching with two pairs the courtside classics have a bit more of that vintage look super timeless the perfect like urban living shoe i'd say and the Stormbursts have a bit more of that sporty look not gonna lie vessi really got their styles down over time because i know i had the first pair okay so i've been i've been knowing about vessi okay because back in the day when i thought of waterproof shoes it was just like gum boots and uh, i ain't gonna lie those don't really go you know, with the outfits. As I said, they're 100% waterproof, so you could dip your toes in, a, in the water or jump in a big puddle and you'd be dry. I went with the classic black and white colorways for these, but they have some unique styles where you can show off a bit of color. You don't have to be jealous, okay? You can get these too. And you can get them with some free socks. As I mentioned, they're running a promotion below. So if you use my link, you get a free pair of socks with your order. So if you've thought of getting them before, now could be the time, get some free socks. I will also say they make a great gift. I've bought multiple pairs of Vassies for my family and they always love them. I'll leave that link below. I am off to find a puddle. Good morning. New chair, new segment to the channel. Business and breakfast. That might need some work, I know. Sometimes in the mornings I sit down and I look at like the business stuff that I've done recently. Was it smart? Did it work? Did it not? Because once you start working, 
everything kind of blends together in the day. So two things recently I wanted to mention. I spent $500 on coffee recently, right? You may have seen that short. I Basically, it was a way of experimenting for some lead generation. You may think people like coffee, but out of those, what, 60 plus coffees that I bought, only five were redeemed. In real estate and in any business, you just gotta try a lot of things and experiment to find what works for you. And spending $500 on coffee is not it for me. Luckily, it was a deposit for the local coffee shop that I went to work with. So in the end, I got a few hundred back, but I also told them to keep a bit of money because I didn't wanna waste their time for nothing. I'm a, I'm a good guy, okay? Your friendly neighborhood Adam, okay? Number two was... Number two is about ghosts. I started this YouTube channel like whatever, four or five years ago. I was making videos about how to grow on YouTube and analyzing YouTubers growth and success. Yes, we've come a long way. We've come along a lot of different avenues. But in the time that I was making those videos about growing on social media and YouTube, I promoted this product that was called TubeBuddy and they had a 60% commission pro program. And so actually maybe I'll throw a screenshot on the screen, but over the last handful of years, what is it? It must be at like $5,000 over the last two years on autopilot. But rest in peace, my passive income commission. But it was good while it lasted. And so I just wanted to share that because now when I talk with companies, anytime they have some kind of subscription that, that happens every month, I'm like, hey, hey, I wanna I, give me some of that. Just got that email, my UGC scripts. Got the go ahead. I don't have anything super urgent right now. I, I didn't actually mention this before, but I block my days. So like Monday, Tuesday is real estate. Wednesday, Thursday. Yep, those are the days in order. Wednesday, Thursday is content. And then Friday, Saturday is my new channel. And then Sunday is my day off, if I take the day off. And so today I'm supposed to be working on the content. So I'm gonna try to finish this all in one day. So right now it's a priority. And I'll be honest, I ain't some millionaire. I ain't famous. So like doing this UGC content, it is kind of like working a job at the end of the day because I'm literally just making it for them and then sending it and then doing their revision. Even when you're self-employed, like there's gonna be things that you have to do for your own business or whatever that you just don't love. You just can't love it all. That's the reality, you know? So it's around 2 p.m. I'm gonna see if I can edit it or shoot this really quick. See if I can get it done today and sent over them as well. But I do have other stuff going on. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see, you know, every day is a speed run, okay? Professional speed runner. Put that timer on screen right now. I just keep that, bro, I should put that as my screen. If you know what that is, then, then you know. I can tell you my problems. I can tell you my sins. I can tell you my problems. I'm uncomfortable in my skin. I'm uncomfortable with my ends. I'm uncomfortable with my friends. I'm uncomfortable with my drinking. I'm uncomfortable with my thinking. I'm uncomfortable with my ways. I'm uncomfortable with Even in the middle of working, man, I'm listening to my favorite song. I'm just having a good time. Hey, man, nothing is hard unless you say it's hard. One of my new favorite quotes that I gotta write down. I was just thinking, like, man, I put a lot of work into this office. I put a lot into uh, a lot of work into this YouTube channel to be able to have an office like this, but I'm here trying to make more happen, but you just gotta be like, man, I've come far. All right, enough yapping. Back to work. This is the place. One bedroom, 550 square feet around that downtown vancouver we got the little den storage closet bedroom sorry if you can hear the traffic it's hot as heck so i gotta have this open they're building a new music or an art live what is it an art i can't think of the name they're building a building here and it's gonna be super funky and so my client's about to get here we're right near bc place the, the stadium if you know vancouver i just made sure it's clean brought a garbage bag Got some gifts, you know the gift cards? $75 for a coffee shop? This guy better love coffee, am I right? Got some wine, some other gift cards. Nice little place, but I have some time. I brought some extra light bulbs, so I'm gonna change the ones that are out before he gets here.
just back from the West End. And we kind of splurged today because we went on that walking tour and then they gave us free money for the West End. So like that was like a good, what, 50 plus dollars we spent and it was all because of a walking tour. And I learned some stuff about murals on the tour, of course. So worth it, worth it. I need my phone to look at the calendar, so. Lately, you know, I forget who said it, but I've just been reflecting on it, and that is that everyone has their unique advantages. And not that long ago, I had this tech startup idea, which is such a good idea, but it takes a lot of, like, funding and also just, like, work to start a business in an industry that you're, like, not really in. Like, the tech startup is regarding real estate, but how do you build it if you're not a programmer or an engineer? I'm always thinking of those new ideas. I'm not just a realtor. I'm a, a without being cringe, I'm more of, like, a CEO. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to be. That's what I'm trying to build toward. And I realized like my specialty, my unique advantage is like all the time that I have spent consuming and creating for YouTube, social media, content in general. I'm confident I can make a good video that's entertaining. Vlogs have a big ceiling for people to watch, but it's not easy to bring people to watch your business related vlog or real estate related vlog. Some things may be holding you back and that's not an excuse it's more like i need to use my skills in the best way possible the smartest way and it takes a lot of trial and error to figure out what niche what topic what business space you should be in and for me recently i've just been thinking about starting another youtube channel and i know i might come across as someone who's always starting new things and never finishing others but you got to try a lot of things to find what your thing is. And this channel is not going anywhere. This is kind of like the behind the scenes. This is the OG channel. This It's not going anywhere. But what if, if you tried something else, you loved it even more and it performed even better? There's no way to know unless you do the thing. <laughs> That's scary. Shout out Guru for the free energy drinks and their marketing social media person knew who I was, so they give us extra. Here we were, we were just hanging out, and then all of a sudden, this guy grabs me. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Matt Mort, everybody. Man, the vibe in here is immaculate. Come on. I got the camera on that new stand that I was showing off. I had lunch the other day with a friend. Shout out to Jasper. And we were talking about YouTube. I ain't no Mr. Beast. And he was asking me about a niche. And this is like a question that's been around for a long time, but I have a different answer than like I used to. I used to put my faith in the algorithm and social media and online and just say like, if you make a really good video, it will reach the right people. And I kind of think it's cap. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of good videos out there that we just don't see because they have so little views so they don't get shared. And so I said to my friend, like if you're gonna start a YouTube channel or some kind of business, start with what you want it to be. Is this a side hustle to make a thousand bucks a month? Or is this a business that you want to make a million dollars a year? And when I started this channel, it was just a side hustle. So the way I learned that, I wanted this to become my full-time job. And I did, I did make it eventually, but then converting it into a job when my audience was just people in Vancouver, the potential audience, it's not very big. So really, I just told him to focus on like, to decide what you want the business to do for you and be for you first. And that's when you need to like, kind of decide your, your message, your story, the life of the channel or the business. Because if only 100,000 people could be interested in your topic, realistically, you're gonna hit what, 5% of that, 10% of that in the first couple of years. Like as much as creative people just wanna create and make the best thing they can, it really is a business at the end of the day. Like I said, I'm starting another channel as well. And that's that was one of the first things I was thinking about is what's the potential for that channel? If it's not bigger than this one, then what's the point of starting it? I'm a creative, yes, but I'm a businessman. So back in the day, I would say niches don't really matter. But these days I'm like, yeah, actually they define your whole business. If it's tech, you got millions. If it's video games, you got millions. But if your interests are niche, sometimes you're just out of luck. Ah, 
Just something to think about. Business, am I right? It's a sunny day. We probably don't have many more of these left. If it's sunny today that you're watching this, make the best of it. Sometimes I envy those friends who work in finance or whatever they do, they're a lawyer maybe, or something that I would normally call a little bland, a little boring. But those friends, they say, yeah, I go to work, I come home, you know, I play some video games, I play basketball, whatever, and then I watch a movie and I go to sleep because I clock out. I have not clocked out in about six years. And I think that's why the, I'm getting those gray hairs. So for the people who have, the, who have that drive like me, like, I can't really relax very often. What can I say? I'm a fiend. I'm a fiend for the progress, right? The goals, the chasing. Because when you get there and you make progress, that's when it feels good. That's the dopamine hit. I did the thing. Before you go, you know, if you made it here, tell me why you watch the vlogs or the channel or these videos in particular. What do, you, what do you like about them? Do you like that you can just put them on in the background? Do you like that I share stuff about business? Do you not? Do you wish I just would stop yapping? I mean, be honest. It just helps me make better videos, you know? And I'm gonna leave you with a new favorite quote of mine, and that is, nothing changes if nothing changes. And I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but that's pretty deep. Let me know why you watch the channel, and I'll see you soon.